Republican Congressman from Florida. Good to see you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year almost, sir. Merry Christmas and Happy New, to New Year to you as well, Ed. Congressman, do we need to see a purge at the FBI? Well, let me start by saying that Tim Ryan doesn't have the right to shine Francis Rooney's shoes. Ambassador Rooney has worked overseas on behalf of the United States of America and knows full well the good work that far too many or a great deal of folks are doing at the FBI and Department of Justice. The problem is in the swamp of Washington, D.C., the biggest alligator is a politicized FBI and Department of Justice. And that's why we're fighting hard to make sure that we've got a fair and equal opportunity for all sides to be heard and that you don't have this pro-Hillary Clinton bias anti-Donald Trump bias continue to infect our institutions and our systems so, so all Americans should be able I to I hear you on. defending Congressman Rooney, but do you agree with him? You're upset about the FBI and what's going on, but should there be a purge? Well, the purge is happening. We just saw Andrew McCabe uh, announce his retirement recently. You saw Bruce Orr, who was at the Department of Justice, demoted. And you saw Peter Strzok, the person who sent these horrible anti-Trump text messages. The same Peter Strzok, who was very involved in the exoneration statement for Hillary Clinton and then got drafted into the Mueller probe. He's also been demoted and reassigned. And so time and again, you see the senior leadership at these agencies exposed for their bias. And that shouldn't in any way impair the good work that folks on the ground are doing each and every day okay. to protect the country. Congressman, that's your view of the FBI. You just mentioned Robert Mueller. I did as well a moment ago. Yahoo News uh, has a new report out. Here's what they say about the Mueller probe. Quote, in just the last few years, prosecutors have begun questioning Republican National Committee staffers about the party digital operation that worked with the Trump campaign to target voters in key swing states. They're seeking to determine if the joint effort was related to the activities of Russian trolls and bots aimed at influencing the American electorate, according to two sources. So, bottom line, what, what does that tell you about the Mueller probe? Are they going after Jared Kushner, for example, the president's son-in-law, who helped run that digital operation? Well, here's what we know. The DNC and Hillary Clinton were paying people to go and pay Russians to tell lies about the president. And I guess the best evidence of collusion against Republicans is that Republicans and Russia were all on the same Internet at the same time. It's ludicrous. Why are we not investigating the real crimes of the real criminals? Why are we investigating why the DNC's activities with the, with the Fusion GPS company that was employing Bruce Orr's wife, Nellie Orr? That's the real collusion, and it's just outrageous to see this biased Mueller probe continue. I mean, if Bob Mueller were any more biased, we'd have to give him credentials for the mainstream media. So are you calling for Robert Mueller to be fired when you say he's biased? Yeah. Absolutely. I've been calling for Mueller to be fired for months now, and over 20 members of the House Judiciary Committee have been calling for a second special counsel to investigate the Clinton Foundation and Hillary Clinton because there very well may be circumstances where the consequence of those bribes may be undermining American security moving forward. That's why we've got to, we've got to get to okay. the bottom of it, and we've got to end I've just this got 30 distraction seconds. in the Trump presidency. Let, let me unpack that, though. There have been some Republicans even saying if, if, what, if what happens uh, is what you want and the president fires Robert Mueller, we're going to have a constitutional crisis. You're okay with that? No, the attorney general should fire him. No, the, the president shouldn't have to fire him. The, the attorney, attorney general, general recused himself. Him. The we're, attorney general recused himself. He's not Yeah, but that's the problem. We, we've got an attorney general who's a spectator rather than the leader of the Department of Justice, and that undermines our democracy. Legal requirement okay. for him to have recused himself in this matter. He needs to step up, be the attorney general, fire Mueller, and appoint a second special counsel to ev evaluate the Clinton Foundation. Strong words from the congressman. I suspect you might be fired up in part because of the Independence Bowl. I'm contractually obligated by Shannon Bream, my colleague, who uh, has Florida State ties, as do you. Florida State 42, Southern Miss 13. Uh, looks like you had a big bowl victory. Cong congratulations. Absolutely. Go Knowles. And I know Shannon was watching and cheering for him. She was. She'll be back next week. Happy New Year, sir. All right. Happy Me New Year.